with Brian McBrien of Cinema Greens. So yeah, tell us, what is Cinema Greens? We're a plant rental company for the film, television, and wedding and event industries. We're entering our third year here in Atlanta, awesome. and um, we've been in the business roughly as Greens people for about 30 years. So what made you move from LA to Georgia? Film incentives and uh, the film boom, which has hit Georgia. Well, let's walk in, uh, right, take a look at some of your plants. How many plants do you think you have in here? Oh uh, boy, it's probably 3,000. Oh wow, yeah. you've got a lot. A lot of these came from Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. We made a deal when I was doing Ant-Man here in Atlanta, which was the first film shot at Pinewood Studios. Awesome. Um, we had made a deal with uh, Jurassic World, shipped everything up from New Orleans, wow. and uh, utilized it in Ant-Man, and then Marvel basically gave us everything. So we've ended up with all these plants here. And, had a good friendship with Marvel. Now you've got a lot of tropical plants in here. The plants love the humidity, they love the heat, it's the insects. Um, ah. Atlanta, of course, the south, notorious for insects. So you mentioned that you worked on Ant-Man. What are yes, some of um, some other Georgia-based productions that you've worked on? Um, both the Fast and Furious 7 and 8, because 7 was coming out here right when the incentives were starting to boom. Mm -hmm. So we were here, Colorado, uh, a few other ancillary locations, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, working on that one, myself, my partner Jeff, etc. So You guys worked on um, Passengers too, right? Yes, actually I did the Passengers lead on that, and that was nominated for uh, Best Art Direction. Nice. Uh, Guy Hendricks Diaz was the production designer on that, mm -hmm. and David Lazan were the art directors. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was um, a pretty intense setup. So where are we now? We're in our fabrication shop. This okay. is a 5,000 square foot uh, free span warehouse. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of fabrication, a lot of welding. Uh, we tend to use a lot of cranes and heavy equipment. On it. <laughs> these are uh, synthetic marijuana plants. We made these for Seth MacFarlane on TED2. Yeah. Um, but the funny part of this was when we did our prototype to send up to Seth MacFarlane in Boston, I custom built the prototype and then we had to custom build a crate for it because it was a really weird, crazy sized tree. Yeah. And it was being shipped up through FedEx. I think it was like a three day shipping. And strangely, they called me after a couple of days and the, the shipment had been stopped in transit and nobody could track it. Nobody at FedEx could tell us where it was or what had happened. So apparently what we found out about a week later when they finally called us back, was an employee had cracked the crate open on a corner and when he looked in he obviously saw the marijuana leaves so apparently they brought a DEA in whatever other authorities and the tree was put on a hold for about four days we still can't get a quote from FedEx or the DEA to say that our marijuana trees are so realistic you know they thought it was real So tell us about this farmhouse back here. This was built in 1897. I think we've had Vampire Diaries shoot here. Oh, nice. Uh, there was an Eric Roberts movie that was here a year ago. We've had, God, I think Avengers has come through as far as scouts multiple times, Spider-Man. Yeah. We've had Catherine Hardwick out here recently scouting. Brian, thank you so much for giving us a tour of your beautiful facility here. I love seeing all your different plants and everything. My but pleasure. for people who want to get in touch with you, who are maybe interested in renting something from you, where can they reach you? Check us out online at www.cinemagreens.com. You can book your appointments there, give us a call, and uh, schedule a visit. We'd love to have you.